Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back. My god, give me a second here to fix this audio. There it goes. My god. Alright, yeah, welcome, or welcome back to uh, Fable 3. It's Crossroad Caravan, it's Scavenger Scout here, and uh, we're, yeah, let's continue this. My god, I fucked up that intro, I don't even care. Uh, we were going to Millfields to see the wealthy patron. Da -da -da. There's just a silver key just sitting there like a dick. All right. It's like I know we can't get that one yet. Uh, but yeah, welcome all my outcast subscribers and uh, random wanders, wasteland wanders. You stumbled onto my channel. I hear the birds. The birds. It's the birds. Come on, birds. Come down. I think they're just stuck up in the tree. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. More birds? Nope. Okay. All right. So who's the patron we're supposed to be taking? Not taking, talking to. We're supposed to be taking to somebody. Dude. Look, I know where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience or training. Hello, ma'am. Or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. <laughs> I was talking about me. Oh, yeah. Get it. Ah, your majesty. It's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. I so wanted to make a contribution to the noble cause. What's the use of a priceless heirloom if we're all going to perish in who knows what frightful way? I yeah. have taken the statuette out of the family vault, ready for your visit, only for a <coughs> common thief to take it in broad daylight. Really? Can you believe it, your majesty? The thief ran into the woods. And naturally, the soldiers are too scared to follow. All right. Why must the uneducated be so superstitious? But you know no such fear, do you? Find the villain, your majesty. He has stolen more than a statue. He takes with him the future of our kingdom. All right. <laughs> Beware the woods, your majesty. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. That's Good luck. fine. I know you will succeed. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're great, you are. Be back with your trinket. Bum, 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 bum. No projected civilian casualties. Yay. Oh yeah, you found it. All right, let's move on. Wait, what? Bobbery. What up, dude? Wait, did you leave me a note? Looking for the statue, Your Majesty. Follow the white Bobbery. Fair enough. Dog. Come on, dog. There you go. It's like you gotta get past the little wall. Little wall. 
Hello there. Ah, oh, I just gold. Alright. There he is. Be nice to get some assistance from the Balverines if they're cool. Oh, I don't know. Trade them cattle. <laughs> Let them keep this land as long as they don't kill people and they protect them and they move through the woods. Shit, if they did that, they could become great creatures instead of creatures of fear. They could become creatures of hope. Children lost in the woods, being led back by whoa, 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 the follow of howls from the Balverines or something. Sounds horrifying, but it's still bad. Hello. Oh, yo, hey. Right, you monster. Prepare to meet your... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm your king. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. Uh. Damn things are always trying to get through our defenses. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp mm. goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's gonna be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. Uh. You can come on out, everyone. It's safe. Hello, your awesome supreme. Wow, Jesus. There he is. Guessing that's the dude they sent out to Eaton. Probably turned and became Alpha. I gotta look at this. What is this? Oh, I've already opened that treasure. Okay. Dig spot? Okay, okay. Near him. Boop. I thought there was a wall there. We could have walked right through. <laughs> Emerald. Yeah, this looks like Balverine Bay here. Hey there, sir. Your Majesty, I've been expecting you. You've been through the village, have you? Yeah. Charming hamlet. It's full of warm, wonderful people who'll give you the shirt off their back and condemn you to death for one simple mistake. Anyone can fall asleep on watch. You exile him into this forest and call it justice. But enough about that. You're here for that statue. I am. It's quite a remarkable thing. It did everything the legend said it would. And now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's funny how things change. So if you want to take it back to that prig in Millfields, it's yours. Nearly free of charge. All I ask is a small favor. Destroy those silver nitrate lanterns. Then the village will get a taste of justice. The no, choice is yours. And it's a simple one. How simple? If you decline, my brothers will kill you. Oh. Yeah, well, you can't kill innocent people in the village. You could hold the people who are accountable reasonably. I suppose it was too much to but, hope for. You know. Still, your choice won't save the village. Now that I'm a leader of the pack, we've got some brains to go with our brawn. We'll lose a few of the weaker members, but we'll deal with those lanterns on our own. 
Yeah, you're weak. In the meantime, killing you will be a good way to, shall we say, get the blood flowing. My blade thirsts for bowering blood. One more. Save them peoples. Man. Yeah, the lamps are out, ain't they? In the air. Yeah. Or down he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved us from certain destruction. We're in your debt. You'll always be welcome here. Should you wish to return, Connor had this on him. It looks like a Belverine. It's yours if you want it. The white one, yeah. It's actually the white Belverine. Oh, yeah. It's okay, Randir. As long as you're inside before nightfall. All right, you might. Fucking, yeah, we damn. Thank you enough for saving our village. Not to mention all the Belverines. Not a problem, not a problem. Glad I could help. I do want to double check that real quick, actually. Go to the road to the rule and see if we can't upgrade our gun just one last time. Nope, 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 nope. Become a gun master for a hundred. I thought it was 180. Our gun will now fully be upgraded. Our hand shotgun turns into. It looks like it's a fiery shotgun. Hang on. Any other business to attend to? Really? <laughs> That'd be interesting. The is at your disposal. 
pistols yeah, are for less sure. accurate than rifles, but are faster and more maneuverable. Hero's pistol. Your exploits outside. The world of Albion have caused your weapon to adopt a bin benign appearance. Oh, your command of an unweaved fireball spell has imbued your weapon with the aura of flame. That's what happened. <laughs> what is the hero's rifle then? Malice. Ice, I'm guessing. Your questing adventures have imbued ethereal aura ethereal what the fuck does ethereal mean all right turn this weapon black will you be wanting a different weapon nah mine's fine right now 20 more and we get a new fucking sword <laughs> what are you oh you're the sword or 50 more and we get a new sword. Maybe. Alright, leave the road to rule. Boop. Back into the fray to do our king stuff today. Fucking no civilian casualties. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's go give her that Balverine statue back. Burp. Why the hell did that burp taste like ice cream? I've eaten nothing. Foul. In the spooky woods. <laughs> At the well, yeah. Pass the note to the right. Go on through, and we're good. Yay! Take me to Millfield, please. Alright, so unweaved spells, Ken. Well, I mean, I have thrown fireballs in people's face. I guess that's why that pistol got that level, too. Uh, there she is. I'm at your command. You're hey, back. Miss? Did you find the thief? Did you recover did. the statue? Of course he did. He is the king, and thus infallible. If you will hand the statue to me, your majesty, I will endeavor to appraise it. Here's the statue, buddy. You found it? Oh, I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty. I, I can't let you see me this way. Uh, and please, make make good use of it. I will. I will. No Go to the treasury. Always so melodramatic. As for this little item, it is every bit as valuable as I hoped it would be. Oh, yeah? The Prophet shall make a welcome addition to the treasury. Unless, of course... Well, it is your statue now. You could always opt to keep the proceeds for yourself and administer them as you see fit. No, we're doing it. A magnanimous gesture, indeed. Your subjects are lucky to be ruled by one so giving. Alright. 252 days. Not only did you save the entire village from Balverines, you generously, uh, your generosity has brought the people of Albion one step closer to safety. My brain stopped working there like halfway through that sentence. I don't know what happened. <laughs> brain no working. With the fatidic attack not far away now, it fills yeah. one's heart with confidence and supreme satisfaction to see the treasury filled to the brim. 
I have taken to sleeping beneath the gold and can report nothing but restful nights. As for today's first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the kingdom's economy finds itself in. I Luminous did not know about that. always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. Yeah. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. That's fine. The people are looking at you to save them from economic disaster. But Done. you are such a giving, magnanimous person. I Very hate well. you. I You're fucking so sarcastic when you say Life that shit. Life will be easier for your subjects for a while, but the treasury will not easily recover. I don't care about the treasury. I only hope we haven't thrown away our chances of survival. Of course, you could always replenish our gold supplies by donating from your personal funds. That shit's pretty plenished. Can we proceed with today's <laughs> like... <laughs> Ah, oh, Mist Peak, my favorite. 121 people or er, days. Hell yeah. Kaylin, the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. The court Done. awaits in the throne room. Yeah, Kaylin's cool, along with the uh, the fucking dude from Mist Peak. Are you good, buddy? I not? We used to be able to hand out money, and now we cannot do that to boost people's friendship with us. Whoop. Hard save. Hard save. God damn. There we go. <laughs> it's like that's the first time I've seen it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Reaver. Your Majesty. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. A lot. Aileen will offer her proposal. Reaver. Will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. Yeah, the Vyries. The darkness could in fall the darkness. Upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal Yeah, subjects. exactly. <laughs> a desert outpost? I've never heard such nonsense. What should we do I next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Because is everyone really needs saved. worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course. Aurora is under our protection. It's an alarm system. It is our dick. duty to build this outpost. The king's decision is final. A military Give somebody a thousand gold in the crowd. In the shoot the Reaver in the back of his head. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Not a problem. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well. It shall be done. I'm fucking beloved because I'm trying to help the fucking people. Rule in the future of Miss Peak, which will be prosperous and great because Miss Peak is where we started. Proud to present an exotic tale there we go. Adventure and sand, the desert outpost. <laughs> Bring forth Sabine of Sabine the Miss Peak dwellers and his friend. Yes, I love them both. Great Today, people. Today you decide on the fate of Miss Peak, home of the dwellers, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reba I'm still wearing the jacket of your people. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. Of course. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end. 
Undo the damage your brother did to our land, and our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? Get out of here. I will keep my promise to the dwellers. <coughs> the Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. Yeah. Miss Peak Absolutely. shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. <laughs> Always for you, Sabine. Stand by you till the end. You're a great man, Sabine. You helped me in the battle, and you probably did more than I could ever imagine. Forests of Mist Peak are our greatest national treasure, and now. Thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature <laughs> intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? We don't. That's for damn sure. We'll be fine. Still zero casualties. Hell yes. Happy anniversary, your majesty. One year as king of Albion. Doesn't time just uh. fly? To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Okay. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as no. you parade through the city. I won't be doing oh, that. And you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see. You will also be fitted for... Oh, cool. Thank God. <laughs> I'm just staring at him drooling in the real world. <laughs> just miles away. Just a vacant fucking stare in my head. Crown's all slouching over one eye. <laughs> oh shit, we can get our new sword. The day has come, King. It is time yeah. for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You uh. have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion. Oof. It's the audio. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that Come on, fix your audio. There you go. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. I look like a jackass. Do I'm not gonna... <laughs> There we go. Alright. Now, let us see what that fucking blade looks like. I know we should do magic for more power, but we don't need the power. I want to see what this blade looks like, man. Oh, it's got the ethereal thingy, doesn't it? No? What happened to my blade? Hang on. Welcome to the sanctuary. I can't actually tell what happened. The armory is at your disposal. Swords inflict moderate damage quickly. The weapon of choice. Your victories over Logan's war. soldiers have made your weapon glow with an ethereal. All right. I gotta check the hammer. Wait, is it the hero's hammer? No mallet. It's mallet. Scythe hammer. Slim quick. Mister Stabby. There we go. Your skill in hunting down treasures given your weapon. Golden aura. <laughs> That's awesome. That actually does shine and shimmer with a golden aura. That's awesome. What? Alright. Keep my blade, though. It's like, yeah, I've only got two spells. <laughs> Whole game. <laughs> Alright.
leave the road to rule. End of the portal. Days left until the attack. One. Everybody? It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. Reports indicate that our defenses were able to hold off the worst of the first attack. But if we don't act quickly, even the armies we prepared for this day will not be enough. We have to get yeah. out on the streets. Now! Today, Done. We fight for Albion! For Albion! For Albion. Tough love. Let's do this. Greetings, Ready to your serve, Majesty. Your Majesty. The regimental Charge! mascot's gonna enjoy you in your dead flesh. With your lives. Here we go. Face my shadows, my Valkyrie warriors. It's here. It's here. It's weak, is what it is. You're just a darkness in some sandy ass crack of the world. world. Burning 
shot and took you out, huh? I ain't stopping for anything. Close the barrel to his bottom left leg, but that's fine. Another one of you, huh? Shall protect the children Four. always. Five. To the flock. No one ever leaves the darkness behind. No. <gasps> Jesus. Oh no. Do you see? Do you see what you have allowed? We are all shadows now. No, I get what we have to do. Don't get through. Yeah. Walter, I am sorry. It'll be over quick, dude. You rule over a graveyard. Is that what you wanted? Don't hold back! Don't! I'm ready! I saw that thing flash. Five. My magic is much stronger than yours, friend. Ow. Where are you? Where are you? Still here, Walter. I'll be here to the end. Badass, we uh, dude, you were so cool. I'm sorry. Uh, you took away the darkness, it's been inside me all this time, but it's light now. I can see the sky, good, and it's light. I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. Dude. We beat it together. Yeah. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? You saved there us. There was a great king once. The mightiest hero of them all. All of Albion. Remember what you would say. Teach me yeah. to be a hero. You've yeah. done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. Walter, no. <gasps> Oh, Walter! Man... He was here since our beginning. Damn. They took the one thing, man. Or Albion. 
altar died for Albion. For the safety of everyone. Yes. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. Thank you, Speed. My Speed. people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. May you prosper. Farewell, your majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. Thank you, Paige. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? Eh. I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. You don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, mm. ruler supreme, Al, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. And I think I'd like to start traveling again. <laughs> or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's yeah. for you, Walter. <clears throat> Hi, Teresa. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color. Devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. Yeah. The people love you. And you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people. Yes. When it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people. <laughs> yeah. And you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise. But you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. <laughs> Fable was a great series, man. Fable 1, 2, 3, all good fucking games. No way, Lionhead Studios. We actually fucking beat it. Holy shit. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised. Alright, let's see if there's something after this. You've done the impossible, saving your kingdom while suffering virtually no losses places you among the greatest leaders of all time. Your people love you and consider it an honor to be subjects as of such a magnificent hero. Eh. Salutations, my most Convict gracious. on the run. Yeah, now we just got random side quests. Wow. Alright, well, this has been Fallout, or Jesus Christ, this has been Fable 3, and, um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching, you have no idea, uh, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to have a good morning, good evening, or good night, if you're watching this on Twitch, please follow, and, um, yeah, as always, it's been Scavenger Scout, and we are signing out.